Now in this video, let's understand the priority order in which a CSS property is applied. Now what do I mean by that? Let's take a look. So I've created this H1 element over here and it has a text called get 50% off, okay? Now it has an ID of some ID. It has two classes. One is called some class, another one is called another class. And it has some inline styles of color blue applied over here. Now, if you come to the style.css, which is applied to this HTML, we have set the color green to the sum ID selector. We have another one called h1 dot another selector, which has purple color, some class has red color, and another class has orange color. Now, if you notice, all of these colors and the color in the inline are actually all applied to this element, directly or indirectly, right? They're all selecting this particular ele element. Now, it's a contradiction. Would this element be blue in color or purple or green or orange or red in color? Which color is it gonna be? So this is what we're gonna see. So pause this video and tell me, or just think in your mind, what priority, what, what particular color will be applied to this particular H1, ele H1 element. All right, pause, come back, all right? Now let's take a look. So you have something in mind and let's take a look now. So over here I refresh and it's blue in color. And the reason for that is that CSS takes a particular priority order in which certain things are going to be applied. So forget line number five over here, we're gonna to get to that, but the number one priority order is actually in line. So the styles which are in line takes priority over everything else, okay? So that's why since this one is in line, you know, it ignores all the other ones and applies the blue color, all right? So let's say if the blue color was not mentioned in line or nothing was mentioned in line. So I'm gonna simply come in and remove this particular style over here. Now let's see what happens. So what color is now it's going to be? So if you come over here, we have seen the priority order. The second in line is actually the ID. So the next thing in priority is ID. So if I say, uh, if I have saved already and I refresh, it's green in color. So if you come over here, the ID is actually color green. So let's say if the ID is also not mentioned or actually I'm just gonna remove or comment out this particular color. What's the next one in line, all right? So I'm gonna refresh and now it's purple in color, this one. So the purple one is actually uh, a more specific selector. It's more specified. So it's not saying select the another class um, selector, it's saying only select the elements which are H1 with an ID of uh, a class of another class. So it's very specific. So the specific uh, selectors come at the next priority order after ID. So let's say if you do not even have that, what's next in line? The next in line are actually the classes. Now, in our case, we have two classes. We have another class and some class both applied to this particular element. So which one is it gonna take priority? Uh, it's going to be the one which is written uh, last, actually. The lower one gets more priority. So this one is written last. So if I save and refresh, it's gonna be orange in color, all right? So this is the different priority order in which CSS is selected. Now, one thing in the real world is gonna happen is that you're not gonna code contradictory uh, styles. But a lot of times it happens that you have a very big and complex websites and you may have multiple paragraphs. One paragraph maybe in the body area, one paragraph maybe on the sidebar area, and you want different styles on the paragraph and different styles on the body area. And sometimes the inheritance works as such that you may have certain contradictions. So the more this is the priority order you wanna keep in mind if you want to make sure certain elements are styled, you make sure the styles are applied correctly. Now, one last thing that I want to sh share with you is, in a lot of cases, in a lot of cases, uh, you may not have a lot of power, and you are like, you know, I I'm not able to enforce certain priority because the CSS is too long and too complex, and multiple teams working on it, you may not have control. So, let's say if you want to brute force and enforce certain style, you can actually add a property called important uh, to the styles. So, let me show it to you how that works. So, I'm gonna kind of uh, remove our uh, comments and over here I'm gonna 
put back the inline style, styles as well. So save, refresh, and we have kind of reset our page. Now, let's say if I come over here and I say, hey, you know, I really, 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 really want it to be, you know, a red in color. So what you say is you come over here and before the property semicolon ends, you come over here and you do exclamation point and important like such. And that's it. You save, refresh, and according to the priority order, any property which is marked with important will brute force and take priority over everything else. So that's how you kind of overcome all of it. So let's say if you want this particular property, you're going to just put that important sign over there and that's going to take priority. Okay, save, refresh, and now it's green. So that's pretty much it for this video. I have included a particular uh, cheat sheet from Stack Overflow in uh, below this video, so you can check it out as well. And I'm going to talk to you in the next video.